Spotify server upgrade is a very crucial aspect of the Spotify infrastructure. In the following video, we'll take a look at the process of upgrading Tipco Spotify server from version 7.14 to the latest mainstream version that is Spotify 10. Let's review some of the key aspects to keep in mind before planning and performing any Spotify server upgrades. Review the Tipco Spotify LTS process documentation to understand the difference between LTS and mainstream versions. Remember, Spotify 10 is a mainstream release. Detail instructions about installations, upgrades, and any other configuration aspects of Spotify server can be found in the installation and configuration manuals. Review the system requirements for the Tipco Spotfire versions that you intend to install. Few recommendations prior to the upgrade. Ensure the current Spotfire environment is up and running. The second one is extremely important. Take a backup of the existing Spotfire database before performing the upgrade. If something goes wrong during the upgrade, you can always use an existing backup to get back to your working environment. Download all installation media from Tipco download site and always perform these upgrades on pre pro environments before attempting them on the production environments. For this demo, we are using a 7.14 Spotify server instance that has been set up with the default database authentication. Depending on your existing configuration, additional steps may need to be performed as a part of the upgrade process. Review the manuals for more information. So let's go ahead and stop the 7.14 Spotify server service. Now open the installation media and go to the Spotify server folders and let's run the setup file. Let's click on next and accept the end user license agreement. If you intend to use NTLM authentication, you can choose the first option. For now, we're going to ignore that. And I'm going to use the default installation path and we're going to create a Windows service. For this spot for installation, I'm going to choose the default ports port 80 for the front end port, 9080 for the registration, and 9443 for the backend communication port. You can choose any port that you wish to. Click on install to begin the installation. Spotfest server installation process is pretty much the same for all the recent versions. At the end of the installation, you get to choose multiple options. If it's a new installation, you get to launch the configuration tool to configure the Spotfire server. If it's an upgrade, you have an option to launch the upgrade tool, which is what we're going to select in this video. Select the launch the upgrade tool option and click on finish. This is upgrade tool. You can see a note about taking a database backup even here. Let's click on next. So there are two options here. If you select the first option, you would need to select the database driver, template, and provide the database information in here. If you're installing the Spotify 10 server on the same machine as 7.14 or any other versions, you can choose the first option. Let's go back and select the previous server installation. I have 7.14 installed on the same machine. So select the root folder, which is 7.14 and click on next. This option will fetch the database information from the bootstrap file. Let's click on next and review the summary. If everything is correct, click on upgrade. Typically upgrade process will not take more than a minute. Scroll all the way down and review any warnings or messages. As we can see here, upgrade tool highlights that there are two issues to be reviewed. Click on next. These two issues are the new features in Spotfire 10 
one is about clustering and the other one is about uh, redshift data source so i'm going to click on finish now let's start the spotware server service for version 10. now that we have installed spotware 10 and upgrade the spotware database the next step is to actually deploy the client packages for Spotfire 10. So let's log into the admin UI. Go to deployments and packages. And as you can see, we still have the 7.14 client deployment package in here. So let's go ahead and deploy the Spotfire 10 client deployment kit. Click on upload. And let's click on validate area to make sure there are no compatibility issues with the package and click on save area. You can choose to force the Spotfire client upgrades, but for now I'm going to ignore that and just click on save area. And you can see the status change. It says pending changes now. And once the deployment is completed, it says package is deployed. Now let's go ahead and test using a Spotfire client. So I have 7.14 client installed on this machine and this is what I'm going to use to connect to Spotfire 10. So I have used a different port for 7.14. Since we have used port 80 for Spotfire 10, I'm just going to remove the 714 port number from there and just use localhost. Click on OK here. Once the Spotfire client detects there is an updated package on the server, it will actually prompt you to install those. Let's go ahead and install those packages. And depending on the network bandwidth, this process may take a minute or two. So this is the Spotfair 10 UI. As a last test, I'm going to try opening one of the files that I have saved in 7.14. There we go. So we have successfully upgraded Spotfire 7.14 to Spotfire 10. Please leave any suggestions or questions in the comments here or visit our community site. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.